Texas woman tries to drown a three-year-old Palestinian Muslim child. Again, I say, look at your life. 42-year-old Texas woman, Elizabeth Wolf, arrested, accused of trying to drown a three-year-old Palestinian Muslim child in an apartment complex pool. Happened last month after she questioned, as if she has a right, the child's mother about their country of origin, it's according to officials. Wolf was arrested for public intoxication while attempting to leave the scene, charged with attempted capital murder and injury to a child. Police do not believe she knew the victim's mother before the May 19 incident. Police responded to a disturbance between two women at an Euless apartment complex pool, May 19, 5.44 p.m. Witnesses reported an intoxicated wolf had tried to drown a child and argued with the child's mother. With millions watching and many people benefiting from this program called Indisputable, we just need 1% of the viewers to become a paid member so we can continue to bring this content to you. Now back to the show. Child's mother, 32 years old, told police Wolf questioned where she was from and made statements about her not being American, as well as other racial statements. Council on American Islamic Relations or CARE said in a news release that the mother visibly appeared to be Muslim, was wearing a hijab, modest swimwear, all her right. NBC News with the reporting. Wolf also asked the woman whether two of the children in the pool were hers before she tried to grab one of them, a six year old boy who was able to get away, police allege. Mother began helping her son when Wolf grabbed her three year old daughter and forced her underwater, police said. Mother was able to pull her daughter from the water. Her daughter had been yelling for help and was coughing up water. Can you imagine the fear? Not only are you not wanted here, but someone tried to kill you. Care alleged that Wolf also snatched the mother's headscarf off while she was trying to save her daughter and beat her with it. Both children were medically cleared at the scene, police said. Care said the mother, whom is identified as Mrs. H, said her daughter is traumatized by this incident and hides whenever she opens their apartment door out of fear that Wolf will come and immerse her head in the water again. We are American citizens originally from Palestine, and I don't know where to go to feel safe with my kids. Care quoted her as saying, my country is facing a war and we are facing that hate here. Yep, it's true. Care's Texas branch called on federal and state authorities to investigate the incident as a hate crime. Euless police have recommended that the incident be considered a hate crime. And the Tarrant County District Attorney's Office is investigating it, a police spokesperson told NBC News. Shema Zayan, CARES Austin operations manager said, we are seeing a new level of bigotry here where a person deeply believes they get to decide based on religion, spoken language, country of origin, whose kids deserve to stay alive and whose don't. An April Care reported receiving 8,061 complaints nationally last year from Muslims who reported experiencing discrimination or hate incidents. It's the most the group has ever gotten at any point in its 30 year history, including after 9 11. Council also reported receiving 3,578 complaints during the last three months last year. NBC News again with that reporting. We mention it, but I don't know that it's in the forefront. It's not sexy to talk about Muslim hate as it is perhaps some other groups. I almost hate that this woman was reportedly intoxicated. You can do a lot of things when you're drunk and be reckless, but this seems like this, well, this is who you are. Why is that even top of mind? And I am pleased that Eulis police down in Texas, Tarrant County, said this is capital murder and we're recommending hate crime charges. I want to watch this one closely though, Mayor, because again, people tend to feel sorry for certain types in this country. Remember how the judge cried when that ex-police officer killed the young man. I thought it was my stun gun and not my, well, okay. 
He's dead. You're alive. Why are we crying for you? And I feel like there's always a chance of that happening because you view people as people unless they have some hue in their skin. What say you, Mayor? Yeah, I think that's correct. I think America has a long history of showing us that she's comfortable with certain people suffering um, and, and, and making sure others don't. I think it is absolutely absurd. The story didn't even sound true to me when I was reading it, prepping for today. I was, this couldn't be true. Uh, uh, and, and to know that, you know, that we are having to advocate for it to be a hate crime when it's by definition already that. I mean, you, we, what are we doing? She took her hate job off and was beating her with it. Um, this idea that she was holding her back, kicking her so she could drown her child. In what world are we living in where this is where people are are, are finding themselves because of their original religion? This idea that they, that one person religion is superior to others. And we're talking about white Christianity. We ain't even talking about black Christianity because if they know what, if they know the teachings of the Amy Zion church, they're not happy with it, right? We're talking about the church of, of, of Nat Turner and, 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 and Harriet Tubman. So th this is definitely not the church that they celebrate. They, they want their white Jesus and that's it. Uh, and, if, and if you don't disagree with them or if, they, if you happen to be in front of them, you could be a different set of Christianity and they'll get at you because it's, it's grounded in something other than that. It is that same behavior that give Karen's the ability, the ability to show up how they show up. And like you said, in this case, they're gonna blame it on alcohol. No, these are inherent intents and you're an adult. So you're responsible for your behavior because you shouldn't be drinking to this point where you wanna kill a three-year-old. You should never be at that point anyway. Yeah. Let alone when you're drunk. Mm -mm. Nope. I've seen happy drunks. I don't wanna see anybody drunk, but I've seen happy drunks, not drunks who turn into would-be killers. I can't imagine if somebody put their hands on my daughter and did this and her son. Sick. I just, you know, I take delight and I probably shouldn't do it because Karens are inherently sick and perhaps crazy. But I take delight when a Karen asks me a version of where are your papers? Either looking right at her or him and not even responding or telling you, not your business. Have a good day. <laughs> you know, I'm not I'm not here to answer your questions. But yeah, you actually it gives an all new meaning to police state. There's the ones that are in uniform, there's the red light cameras that also police us. And then there's this um, civilian superiority crowd who actually thinks they can question a little girl of color who's selling lemonade. Uh, young men selling water bottles on a hot day or a bird watcher. They just, what don't they understand? And how can we get through to them or we just can't? Is that right, Mayor? Yeah, I think it's a lost cause. What we see is uh, uh, we would not be able to legislate this away. Uh, this behavior, um, again, goes back to reconciliation. I and mean, this country has not found any of that. And I don't think, I don't think we're going to ever end this type of behavior. These people will be around as long as they believe whiteness is superior to everything else. Well, there it is. But I, I'll say this and then we can move on. Don't you think it's helpful? And if there's follow through, when there's swift justice metered out to these Karens, hate crime on the table, capital murder charges like that. And I wish there was a charge too, or I guess it's wrapped into the hate crime. Ripping off somebody's hijab. You're you're right. You're right on. I mean, there's nothing to say to that. But if if and when we start doing swift judgment, it will be determined or deterrent. 